Hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Okay, this is a very, very, very unpopular video. But do you think I care? No, I only care about God, what he thinks of me. And, you know, like all things of God is very unpopular. And so I got to, you know, say the truth. This is going to be a short version of the video. I might make a longer one. But these are just some uh, good points that I wrote down to let y'all know why birthday celebration is not of God. These are one of the things that most Christians miss. I see like the most beautiful Christians and for some reason they do not know Christ, uh, Christ, what is it? Birthdays are not of God. Okay, my first point. Jesus didn't even celebrate his own birthday. If our master, our Lord, our savior, if he didn't even celebrate his own birthday, why should we celebrate our birthday? You know, the Bible is very clear. They could have said, hey, on the, on the second day of the ninth month, our Lord and savior was born. They didn't say that, you know, they could have said it. Why didn't they? Of course, he wasn't born on December 25th. Every, you know, y'all should know that. Of course, he wasn't born in that day. Why didn't the Bible not mention not once the day he was born? Then some people are going to say, well, the writers didn't seem to write. But if it, if it was so important, think about it. Our Lord and Savior's birthday. Why wouldn't they say anything in the Bible? And, you know, uh, a co-worker of mine said that they believe that his birthday is on Halloween. I, of course, I don't believe it. Okay. The point of the story was that because they think his birthday is on Halloween, because, you know, growing up, somebody, you know, we always heard that Halloween is the devil's birthday. Whatever. I don't care. I don't know. But she said that, oh, well, the devil must have turned it around, which he can't do. He can't, you can't have the same thing. He might copy it, but he won't do it exactly. So she was saying, well, that must be Jesus' birthday. So we're going to celebrate it. So she says that every year they make him a round cake and, and, and candles and sing happy birthday to Jesus. And I'm telling her, um, that's, you know, that don't sound right. Everything about that doesn't sound right. She got so mad at me. We stopped talking for years. She got mad at me again. We are not talk. long story. But basically, I get hated for just speaking the word of God. Okay. If it was so important, why didn't the Bible just say the day he was born? It, you know, that, you know, just blows me away how people don't notice that they could they the bible doesn't you know have any problem telling you the dates of something so you know with the holy days he says you know do it on the ninth day or the first month da, 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 da. so why didn't they mention the most important day in the world the day our savior was born you know why because it's not important my second point is that we are not celebrating our birthday on the exact same day that we were born because we have the wrong calendar. We go by the pagan calendar. God's calendar goes accordance with the sun and moon. So it's, it's aligned. It's perfect. His calendar is perfect. Of course, we don't go by his calendar now because the world goes by the pagan calendar the calendar that man made so let's say your birthday september 1st it's not gonna fall on september 1st every year so you're basically not even celebrating your birthday on the day that you think it is the second part is that that's astrology when you're keeping your birthday looking for signs that's astrology. That's forbidden. You're only supposed to look at the stars for navigation, for signs, and for seasons. 
other than that, satanic. You know, a lot of, you know, even Christians don't, when they say, hey, my zodiac sign is Cap Capricorn, and we believe this, that's satanic when you say that. You're not supposed to read your astrological zodiac sign. That's forbidden in the Bible. So... I'm going to tell you a quick little story. I don't, you know, sorry for making this video long, but I feel like it's very important. Of course, I want to look up what my name means. And right when I was like kind of Christian, I was getting into it. This was a few years ago when I first became Christian. I wanted to know what my name means. So then at the top of the search engine, it said, wait for this. It was the Kabbalah website. Yes, the Kabbalah website. And then I'm quite, kind of a new Christian. I, I was seeing a lot of Illuminati videos. This is I became a Christian by by studying the Illuminati. Then I finally realized um, there is a God. You need to worship him. I thought I believed in God, but that's another story. So I already kind of knew about the Kabbalahs. I knew that they wore like a red string, but I wasn't sure. I was a very new Christian. I was like, you know what? Okay, I don't know what this is, but let me click on it. I want information. I want knowledge. So then, basically, they were telling me to write down. All I wanted to do was, you know, find out what my name means. Because I'm, I, I got a few different stories, so I just wanted to know. They told me to write down my name my full name and any maiden names any nicknames any names i used to go by to write everything down then they told me to write down my birthday for more accurate reading and then they told me for even more accurate to tell them the time i was born so then i did all of that and then within a second, they have your report. It's a very long report. It, it takes a long time to read it. I, you know, skimmed through it, read it, read it really quickly. And when I was reading it, uh, guess what? Um, they knew a lot of stuff. This wasn't the regular astrology thing where you read your zodiac signs and it tell you like a very, very general you know, what is it, divination on you, whatever. This was very, very specific. So then, you know, me being logical, well, it has to be a coincidence. So I did everybody that I knew their full name and birthday. It was about five people. I did it. And yes, it, all the reports came in within one second and all of them were very, very accurate. Of course, I didn't know when, you know, when they were born. So I would have had a more accurate reading on their life if I would have known their, their time of birth. So then I'm like, I'm realizing this must be satanic because... I'm putting their information in and it's telling me everything, everything about their life, their, their past, future, and present. And I was just like, wow. So basically, long story short, when somebody knows your birthday, they know a lot about you. Just like, you know, don't give somebody your DNA. They know at, they, they're going to know more about you than you know about yourself. So, again, uh, knowing your birthday and that astrology thing, they go hand in hand. It's, you know, very dangerous. Like I said, if you go telling somebody when your birthday is, they could read your sign. They know what's going to happen in your life, your personality, everything. So, the Bible, I didn't, you know, write down the verse. I, I believe it's Ecclesiastes 7.1 where it says, The day of your death is better than the day of your birth. And then all throughout the Bible, like, you can, it gives you kind of hints here and there that the most important day is your death. Because when you're born into this world, this is not nothing to cheer. You're born into sin. But then when, when you die... That means that you're dead from this world, from the sin. Of course, in hopes that you will enter the kingdom when Jesus comes back. So, basically, 
why celebrate your birthday when it's not nothing to celebrate? It's this is not the life. This is a, a very bad traumatic testing ground. So why celebrate when you were born here? It's better to celebrate that the day you conquered life when you just you know basically if you live a good life. The day you die, that means like, wow, you did it. You lived the life. You you worship Christ until you died. That's that's when you want to celebrate that you died knowing Christ because you can you know be Christian your whole life and then the last year or the last second you could turn from God. So the day of your death is better than the day of your birth. Another point. Is that, think about it, when you're celebrating your birthday, you're celebrating yourself, you're self-worshipping. That should be obvious, you're worshipping yourself, you're not supposed to worship nobody but God. But people want to say, well, I just want to, you know, have fun, da 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 but why does it have to be your birthday? We can have fun any other day, why celebrate because you were born, basically? Why can't you just... You know, why have one day to make your feel, yourself feel better? See what I'm saying? You can make yourself feel good six days out of the week or whenever. You don't need to, you know, wait one day of the year to, you know, put a crown and think, you know, your majesty and, you know, royalty. Another one. Okay. So this is the background of birthdays. We all know that when we are born, we are born with an assigned demon slash familiar. The witches will call this a fami their familiar spirit. We're all assigned to have a demon to us. That demon watches us, watches us from we were born to the day that we die. They know us. They know us better than we know ourselves. They know our... Our weaknesses, our strength. They're the ones that tempt us. They're the ones that give you the bad advice. Because they, they'll just give you your rope and hope you hang yourself with it. They, they're not going to do it themselves. So that's what a familiar spirit is. And this familiar spirit is assigned to you on your day of birth. So in a way, when you're celebrating your birthday, you're actually celebrating this demon. And then if you read history, people didn't um, keep their birthdays. They didn't celebrate your birthdays because, first of all, you have to, you know, do astrology. Second of all, that was considered for, for royalty. To celebrate your birthday, it was considered only for royalty. Why? Because royalty were thought of as being gods. So it was, you know... Because they thought they were God. They thought, you know, oh, you know, a God was born into this world. We need to commemorate that day. So basically it was pagan. If you read the Bible, it was only two people that ever celebrated their birthdays. And in both situations, it didn't go right. They both were not Christian. They were both pagan. The first one, the Pharaoh. Of course, he was not Christian. He was not an Israelite. They were pagan. He celebrated his birthday. He had people killed. The second one, the second one, because of a birthday celebration, John the Baptist was killed. You know, the, the Herod was celebrating his birthday and he got carried away because he was drinking and he basically had him killed because a long story. But basically, birthdays are not right. You only hear of two people ever celebrating their birthdays in the Bible. Why not one time didn't Jesus celebrate his birthday or somebody, a man of God, Daniel, somebody? Why didn't none of them have a birthday celebration? Because it's not of God. Okay. And then the traditions of the celebration. You have... Usually a round cake and you have candles. Okay, the round cake, that's to symbolize the moon god and to symbolize your familiar spirit. It's just a ritual that the roundness 
and and the the dainties. That's the type the type of celebration they like. So then you put the candles. Think about it. Every time you put a candle somewhere, that's ritualistic. I want you to think about that. And then two, some you know, I heard a Christian say, "Hey, I you know, I meditated and putting candles and making a wish on your birthday is satanic, but they still went ahead and still celebrated birthdays." And when he said that, I kind of already knew that birthday was satanic, but then I, that made it even more real for me when he said the candles part, and that's real. Like, when you have candles, that's basically calling the spirits. So then think about it. You, It's the myth, well, not a myth, the story that if you blow all your candles in once, your wish will come true. Okay, so who are you making this wish to? You're really making it to your familiar demon. And you think about it, putting candles and then making a wish, that's satanic. That's not of God. And then second, um... Y'all remember when, you know, when you, when we were little, we would tell somebody it's our birthday. And if you're turning nine, they'll give you nine punches. If you're turning 12, they'll punch you 12 times. Okay. Your birthday was always considered to be a bad luck day. I don't know if y'all know this, but I know it's a long time ago that people seem to die around their birthdays or within four months of their birthdays. A lot of people die on their birthdays and around their birthdays. So... It was always considered your birthday to be a bad luck day. That's why they you you have a party, you have people sh sheltering you, making you feel good, you know, because it's a bad luck day. They you have a party to make you feel good and ward off the spirits, you know, supposedly. And you have these games. The games also supposed to ward off the spirits. So you see all this background related to birthdays, and people still think this is of God and it's okay to do it. I'm telling y'all, I don't care what y'all do. This is for my people. The people that want to know the truth, this is for y'all. I'm letting y'all know it's not of God. Y'all can study it yourselves. And I think, you know, that's all my notes. Birthday celebration is not of God. It's pagan. I know we all want to celebrate our birthdays. We say it's no big deal. But think about it. Why... Celebrate. Why wait just one day out of the year to celebrate yourself? Why do you celebrate yourself? You see what I'm saying? That's you're basically vain. You're self worshiping. You know, a lot of people may not like this because that seems to be the only year they have fun and feel special. That's sad. You shouldn't wait just one day out of the year to feel special. That's it's sad. You know, you can make yourself feel good any other day. Why have one day to feel special? Why do you want to feel special? You should already feel special in Christ. That you're knowing that you're the only sane person in this world. And your character, your, your characteristics, your strength, your power. You know, that should make you feel good. You shouldn't need one day for you to feel good. And that's, you know, just, that's only a, a year closer to your death. So why celebrate that day? See what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, there's other ways to have fun. Y'all don't like this because I'm telling y'all, you know, not to party, da, da, da. I'm not saying that. You can party any other time, but why say, hey, it's my birthday. Let's have a celebration. And, you know, how most people act. Oh, it's my birthday. Can I get something free? Oh, treat me nice because it's my birthday. It's self-worship. If y'all don't get that, then it's maybe not for you. Maybe you'll get it in the future. Maybe... You know, I love y'all. I want y'all, you know, know the truth. I'm not here to be a party pooper and all of this. I'm telling y'all that there's other ways to have fun. You don't need to self-worship. You don't need to find one day out of the year, which is not even accurate. You're not celebrating your birthday on the right date. So I don't want to make this video too long. You know, I hope y'all get this. You know, I love y'all and take care of yourselves.